Holy shit. What a big day there is in professional wrestling right now. WWE feeling the effects of not being able to more than likely run house shows uh, because of this whole corona effect. Uh, basically releasing a lot of wrestlers. The news came out today that, you know, Vince was probably going to do this. And within an hour, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, the long list of releases. WWE has been a company that has not wanted to really release wrestlers in a long time. Uh, you can sort of see that, uh, I, I think that they have a lot of money banked up in the company, but their backs are sort of against the wall, that their payroll is going to be really, really big if they're not running these shows you know, why do they have to have so many guys under roster? There is talk um, basically being that a lot of the people that are being released right now are going to be rehired um, once the whole uh, thing is done and they start having the house shows and they ha start having, um, you know, shows for these guys to run and these guys to work on. There's a long list of people from the backstage like... Um, uh, Kurt Angle, who I didn't even know was involved with the company still. I thought that once he retired, he basically went home, but I guess he had an agent job. Lance Storm, the Hurricane, um, Shane Helms, uh, Finley, um, were, were all the agents that I can name. I can see them once they pick the shows back up and they actually have work for these guys to do. A lot of them are going to want to be there. Lance Storm is somebody that I really felt for because of the fact that he closed his gym and he moved his family um, from, from Canada to Orlando to be a part of the Performance Center. And um, I wouldn't be surprised that, that you know, once they start doing this, um, he, he's back to good to go. Um, when it comes down to the wrestlers, uh, Drake Maverick, uh, besides the fact that um, he had the whole going after the 24-7 title, he hasn't really done anything on television in a while. He hasn't been managing the tag team. And he also hasn't been the on-screen commissioner of 205 Live in a while. So not really surprised to see that one go down. Kurt Hawkins, that one hurts uh, because of the fact that uh, I listen to his podcast all the time. I don't want to be like my buddy Freaking Yaya yeah, yeah, 88 who got Mike Knox fired um, back in like 2010 uh, due to a tweet where basically he brought light to Mike Knox still worked for WB and uh, hadn't been fired yet. But um, what does Zack Ryder have on somebody in that company that Kurt Hawkins this is the second time he's been released and, um, you know, uh, <laughs> Ryder isn't. It's not like... Hawkins, it's not like without Hawkins, Ryder's done anything in that company since WrestleMania 32 when he won and lost the Intercontinental Championship in 24 hours. He had the tag team going uh, with Mojo Raleigh. That broke up. And once that broke up, they gave Mojo the push coming out of the deal. But um, even Mojo's push didn't really go anywhere. Um, we've got Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, um, both released. Um, they'll probably end up in AEW or over in New Japan, one or the other. That should work out really well for them. Probably going to be the biggest names on this list um, to, to be able to do something in the wrestling business. Um, EC3, haven't seen the guy on TV, honestly, in probably a good two years. I know that he recently started a TV company, uh, I'm sorry, t-shirt company uh, in Florida. And um, I'm sure that he will... Um, pick up some shows on the indies, maybe even go back to Impact. He's not going to be hard for him to find dates. He's a really good wrestler with a really good look. Might be a little bit small. That's why it really didn't make sense for him to go to um, WWE, but I thought maybe he was going to fit in with like 205 Live or something like that. But after his run and NXT was done, he got brought up to the main roster, and I don't think we really ever saw him much after that. Leo Rush, not a real big fan of the guy, but uh, he's gone. Eric Young, um, this is the guy that hasn't been on TV really since coming over from Impact. He had a run with Sanity um, in NXT. They brought them up to the main roster. They never were really able to get them going. I think that he's been a guy that's been loyal to wrestling on main event, uh, mostly trying to wrestle younger wrestlers uh, on the main roster and get them used to wrestling in front of the live crowds. Um, we'll see what happens with there. Heath Slater, son of a bitch. Um, we recently been really rooting for Heath Slater because of the um, three-man band deal. Damn, I didn't know he was on this list. My buddy Mike sent me this list so I can make this video um, out here in my car before I drove home. But um, Slater hurts. I like him a lot. Um, he's, he's a really good wrestler. Um, 
And I, I just been waiting for him. I, he's, he wasn't going to be WWE champion, but he definitely could have been Intercontinental champion. Could have had a run for the United States Championship, something like that. He held the tag titles a few times. He was able to be like the last living guy to stay on the WWE roster continuously uh, from the Nexus. Daniel Bryan, of course, got fired, got brought back at SummerSlam, so you can't really think about him. But um, damn, Slater. That sucks. He'll pop up somewhere. You, you know, he, you know, he, he'll, he'll be around. Um, Aiden English. Oh, he was like the TV announcer after the whole Rusev thing and the whole... Maybe he can go somewhere like MLW with Simon Gotch. Well, I don't even know if they like each other that much. Maybe restart up like a VOD Villains like tag team. But I think Simon Gotch is like a pretty popular singles guy in MLW. So I, I don't know if that'll work out there. Kurt Angle. Sarah Logan. Um, she hasn't really been doing anything since they broke up the Riot Squad. And Mike Chinota, that guy guy's worked there forever. Wow. That's crazy. And No Way Jose, one of my favorite entrances in WWE. One of the guys I mostly got pumped for. Um, but, I mean, he hasn't really done anything on the main roster since he... And even then, even in NXT, the one cool thing he did was he wrestled, um... Shoot, the guy with the sideburns and the sunglasses. He was Impact Champion. First guy to ever cash it. What the heck is that guy's name? It's going to kill me that I can't remember his name and I'm ending the video on this. Son of a gun. Well, that's it. WWE released them all. See these guys pop back up again. Hopefully, we'll see stuff going down in the future. But peace out, everybody. I'll see you guys down the road.